Hey guys, David Patrick Green, davidpatrickgreen.com, hackhollywood.com, actorpower.com. About to go on a big road trip, uh, six weeks, uh, all over the United States and Canada. Uh, but I, I have to get a video off. Uh, I'm gonna be up at 4.30 in the morning for my flight, and I remembered I gotta do a video. So uh, I'm gonna give you a real quick one, but it's gonna be super impactful. Today I'm going to talk about how actors need to think of themselves as part of the solution and not part of the problem. Now, what do I mean by that part of the solution? Well, what I mean is when you go in to a room, when you go into a set, when you go to a class, when you go to see your agent, whoever, you should have a plan. You should have an idea of what it is you're there to do, meaning you're going to do something for them because they have a problem and you're there to fill that problem and you're going to get paid for it. If not today, then eventually. But you need to show them that you have thought about stuff, you figured it all out and you're gonna show them what it is you're there to do. You're gonna fill the gap. A lot of actors walk into these situations, agent meetings, auditions, uh, manager meetings or producer sessions, or they even get to the set, whether it's a student film, whether it's an independent film, a play, what have you, and they want to know what they're supposed to do, right? You're like, hey, um, I, I really just want to make you happy, so just tell me what to do. No, you'll make me happy by showing me what you think this is and having it fit in to the grand scheme of the project. And you can do a little research and figure that out to some extent, but by and large, you've just got to trust your gut and show us who you are. Show us your thoughts, show us your opinions, show us what you believe your solution to the problem is. And they either take it or they don't, but they're never going to take it if you don't bring it. Okay, so that's the difference between being a part of the solution and being a part of the problem. Part of the problem is they have questions about you know how this should be, and they're bringing actors in, and then the actor says, can you tell me? So they're actually for a moment gonna sit back and be like, okay, let's see what this actor does, right? They're, they're finally hoping you're going to bring the solution to their problems. And instead, you come in with more problems. Um, I really don't know what I should do here. What do you think I should do? What do you want? You know, if they knew what they wanted, they would have, you know, written it down and it would have been sent to you. What they want you to do is show us what you think of this material. You know, imagine if you did Hamlet. Your approach to Hamlet is going to be different from everyone else's and that's the whole point. So your approach to whatever the material is needs to be what you bring to the table. Okay, so make sure guys that you are a part of the solution and not a part of the problem or not adding new problems. And if you take that attitude, people will love you, okay? You're not going to get every job, but they're going to know that when they call someone in, they know they're bringing in someone that has thought this through, that has their own ideas, their own plan, and they're gonna show them what they think. And that's what they want. Because they're gonna look at 10, 20, 30, 40 people, and three quarters of them don't really have their own individual opinion. They're trying to hedge their bets. You know, they got one foot on this side of the fence and one foot on that side of the fence. And that's what they call no man's land. You know. Um, there's a great saying, and it's, it's why do people sit on the fence? Because they like the way it feels, okay? It's safe, and they like that pressure between their legs, knowing they're not going to go one way or the other. So, guys, put your foot in one yard or the other yard. Get off the fence and get into one camp, one perspective, because that's what they want. And even if you don't get the job, they'll think this is someone that's trying to bring solutions to my problems. So we will keep bringing them back until they are the fit for the part we're trying to fill. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you liked it, like it. Um, give me the old thumbs up. Subscribe and please click on that, uh, that bell 
so you get more videos like this through the subscription magic of YouTube. I'll talk to you soon.